Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, a.k.a. Barnacles. Actually, that is not the right intro. Welcome to my unboxing and first look video of the... Nope, that's not me either. Hey guys, Tiny Tom Logan here. Nope, that's not... Def definitely, that's not me. What's up, guys? You're watching Jay's Two Cents, and that sounds a little bit more familiar. Hey, what's up, guys? Jay's Two Cents here. Just kind of having a little bit of fun with some of my favorite YouTubers here on on YouTube. But today we're going to take a look at a product that's very unique and interesting, and that is the Phoenix Ator Mechanical Keyboard. They classify themselves as a boutique brand, so let's go ahead and find out exactly what that means and give this thing the old Jay's Two Cents. Okay, so when I first took this thing out of the box, I was a little bit shocked. It's a lot more silver and metallic-y than I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be a much darker color. Until I read the press release and realized, oh, okay, I understand why they went with this kind of style. Uh, apparently, the designer is a very big fan of Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey because they basically used the monolith from that movie as the inspiration for the design of this keyboard. They state that it has a metallic coating on here, or an aluminum coating. Uh, it doesn't mean it's made all of so solid aluminum. In fact, it just looks like it has a very metallic, sparkly paint job to it, which I'm assuming is what they're referring to as the aluminum coating. It is Cherry MX Brown Switch only, which unfortunately is going to probably piss some of you guys off. And it is um, very high quality. Now, a couple of things that's interesting when it comes to the physical aspects of this keyboard are the keycaps themselves. They, are, they advertise that they're very lightweight, and I can attest that they are very lightweight, which means it's very good for precision typists and elite gamers, as they basically say. Now, one thing that it does lack is any sort of backlighting whatsoever. So if you were not fluent in QWERTY, QWERTY, it's always fun to say QWERTY, then you're probably not gonna like using this thing in the dark or at night. If you're like me and you have all the keys memorized, it's not really a problem. In fact, most of us can get our fingers on WASD without even having to look. So the only lights are, are anywhere on this keyboard are up here in the top right corner and it's num lock, scroll lock, and caps lock. We all know how important caps lock is. It's very important to have caps lock. It's the only way we have to express our raw emotion here on the internet, including a whole bunch of exclamation points at the end of you mad bra. Now I mentioned earlier that this is a boutique brand and that's not going to make some of you happy and in fact I'm one of those people that typically stays far away from boutique brands because that tends to mean high price for the sake of a name. Kind of like coach purses or Gucci or any of that crap. It's someone's name on it but it's not necessarily that much better. Now where I can best guess that they've come up with the pricing for this is not so much the fact that it's a boutique brand but I can attest to the fact that the build quality of this keyboard is probably one of the best that I have ever felt. Almost every keyboard I've ever played with at some point has had a key kind of get stuck or kind of just not respond very well, even with the cherry switches, because that has to do with the quality of the keycap on how well the key moves up and down. Well, they use high quality keycaps on this, which are very lightweight, and so the keycaps themselves and the keys, when I push them, they all feel identical. Now, I, I, I get it, guys. It's a Cherry MX Brown. They should all feel the same, but I've felt some keyboards where, you know, all of the different keys kind of had a different feel to them because of the backplate and the way it was put together. Now, speaking of backplate, this thing does have a, a metal reinforcement in there. It's a gold metal reinforcement. In fact, um, I can't take the key off necessarily yet to show you guys because for some odd reason, mine didn't include a keycap puller. I don't know if they meant to give me one, but it didn't come with one. So... Anyway, I'll just have to kind of show you guys that in some glorious, fabulous looking B-roll. Now when it comes to connectivity with your computer, it does have a detachable USB right here on the back. And I have that cable right here, which is a sleeved cable with gold plating to give you an ultimate nice clean connection. When it comes to length of the cable, it is one J's arm span, which I have absolutely no idea how long that is. I'm gonna say probably six feet, which in my professional and gamer opinion is not long enough because it's not long enough on my desk to go around behind my monitors, down under the desk, and up to my, my case, my 900D. So it's not long enough, which is not good in my opinion. 
Also, not only does it have the USB interface, it also comes with the PS2 interface, which gives you, you know, full end key rollover, as well as an ultra fast response for gaming. Uh, because we all know PS2 connections are much, much faster than USB interface. So it's good that they include that. So it would have been nice if they gave me a keycap holder. When it comes to the bottom of the keyboard, look at that. That is minimalistic if I've ever seen it. The thing that disappoints me is it lacks the pop-up feet that get this thing at the, uh, you know, the uh, adjustable typing angle. Now they've already advertised that they feel that they've already kind of created the angle on there. See the angle? They op the optimal angle, but some of us like a flat keyboard, some of us like an angled keyboard. So it'd be nice if for the price, which happens to be $163 for this keyboard, if they gave you the option. We all like to type at different angles and stuff. So just give us the option, make it flat and then let us pop it up. I, I know it might cheapen the keyboard looks and feel a little bit, but choice is also a very powerful marketing strategy as well. Now, when it comes to the typing of the keyboard, I do honestly feel that the quality of this is there. Now, there's one other physical aspect to this that makes it a little bit different than other keyboards, and that is that it does have a double polymer coating uh, or double polymer layer inside under the keycaps and the back plate that make this thing pretty much accidental spill proof and whatnot. It has very good protection against spills and, you know, we all like to eat and drink at our desks when we're gaming and watching Jay's Two Cents and stuff. Every accidents happen. We have kids and stuff, so it does have very good splash and spill protection. Now, I wouldn't go trying to use this underwater or just go, I'm going to test that and pour a whole can of soda in there. Trust me, you're not going to be happy. Okay, so one last thing to cover about this keyboard, which I almost forgot, is the fact that when you buy this keyboard, you're assigned your own personal assistant, basically, your own personal representative of the company for this keyboard. So. If you ever have any issues where you need to have an RMA or anything like that, you get a little letter here explaining uh, who they are and their name, their direct phone number, their direct email and all that stuff so that instead of sending off a problem to some general e inbox or RMA inbox and waiting for a reply, you get somebody that you can physically speak to. Now, as long as that person is always with the company, as long as you have the keyboard, I don't see that being a problem. I would hope that if there were some, uh, you know, some staffing changes at the company that they would hand that stuff off to someone else and that they would you know kind of reach out to you and say hey i'm your new manager blah 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 so you get a human interaction anytime that you can contact for some sort of support with the product and there's really no other company that offers that level of support so it is what it is so guys that is the tour mechanical keyboard from phoenix tell me what you guys think I think it's a pretty awesome product. I'm gonna give it to my wife to use on her desktop. I finally got her to agree to let me build her her own gaming desktop. Now, if I get her to actually play some games on it and not turn it into a really expensive Facebook machine. <sighs> but I like the fact that it has the water resistant properties to it because as much as I love my wife, she has a little bit of a klutz. And please don't tell her on Facebook that I said that or Twitter or whatever, because then she'll get really mad at me and she's the boss. But anyway, guys, tell me what you think about this keyboard. I'm going to get on out of here. Got some really fun stuff coming up on the channel here very, very soon. Another fun announcement and a collaboration with some other YouTubers that you guys hopefully are going to enjoy. Hit me up on Twitter if you want to talk tech, Facebook, and the website, jays2cents.com. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video.